Hello, this is Pastor Brad at Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Living by the Spirit, for Saturday, October 24th. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that this day I may live in your presence and praise you more and more. Lord Jesus, I pray that this day I may take up my cross and follow you. Holy Spirit, I pray that this day you will fill me with yourself and cause your fruit to ripen in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Amen. Our theme for today is uh, the rewards of faithfulness. And we have a bunch of readings from different uh, verses from uh, Proverbs. Our first one comes from Proverbs, the third chapter. Do not let loyalty and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and good repute in the sight of God and of people. Our second one comes from uh, Proverbs 16, verse 6. By loyalty and faithfulness, iniquity are atoned for, and by the fear of the Lord, one avoids evil. Next is Proverbs 20, verse 28. Loyalty and faithfulness preserve the king, and his throne is upheld by righteousness. And finally, Proverbs 25, verse 19. Like a bad tooth or a lame foot is trust in a faithless person in a time of trouble. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Well, faithfulness is a lifelong task that requires continual effort. In our verses from Proverbs for this day, God shows us that there are rich rewards for those who do the hard work of being faithful. Having good repute, finding favor and good repute in the sight of God and of people. Freedom from sin. We avoid evil. Righteousness abounds. Love is a faithful covenant that brings stability to society. Here the example is of a king, and the Proverbs is about the benefits of political leaders seeking to act in love and faithfulness, where righteousness then abounds. And trust ensues. This one can hit you in the gut, a, a lame foot and a bad tooth. This is the comparison of a faithless person in times of trouble. Wow, a lame foot or a bad tooth. Uh, certainly don't uh, want to be that to someone else in a time of trouble. We all have been let down and have experienced the lack of someone not being faithful of not being trustworthy or not being there. We all know the benefits of faithful acts. For a life uh, full of faithfulness is certainly a rich life. Well, may God help us to practice faithfulness and to be faithful in our life and in our relationships, in our relationship with God and our relationship with others. Let us pray. Lord God, help us to be faithful. Help us to be true to our word. Help us to be there for others in their time of need, especially when we say that we will be there. Lord, we give you thanks for your faithfulness, for the faithfulness that you have showed us, that you have showed your Israelites by keeping your covenants, by keeping your promises, by keeping your words. Lord, there are times where it's hard to be faithful and to keep our words and our promises to others. Lord, help us to practice this kind of faithfulness 
and to receive these rich rewards that we hear in Proverbs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, fill you with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Amen. Have a great rest of your weekend.